What's up, Glamour? It's your girl, Kiki Palmer, and I am about to answer an excessive amount of questions. We've got career, personality, likes and dislikes, life, and the price of fame. Let's get into it. What do I want to start with? The price of fame. That title got me right off top. What's one thing you would love to do but can't because you're famous? One thing that like I think you get worried about doing when you're famous is like being imperfect. It's not even something I would love to do, it's something that I am. But when you are famous, sometimes it's like hard for people to get into that. Turn the other cheek or cuss them out. This was straight to the point. I love it when we just get, boom, direct with it. I think there's a time and there's a place for both. You don't necessarily need to be like absolutely cussing them out. Like, well, you know, you can just be like, per the last email. And then turn the other cheek is just when you like let it go, it's not really worth it type vibe. So I, I think both. I like the personality. I'm gonna do the personality again. Would you hurt a fly? Okay, if you're going by the phrase, would you hurt a fly? Like, would you hurt a fly? Like, not literally a fly? then like, yeah, I would not hurt a fly. Sometimes flies, like literal flies are pests and I might swat around. I try not to kill them, I swear to you, I try not to kill them. Like, the worst thing I've done is spray a little bit of like Febreze on them to get them up out of there. If you weren't an actress, what would you do for a living and why? I would most likely be a hairstylist or a therapist because I feel like they're kind of the same thing. I love talking to people and getting into people's business. I just imagine me being creative doing somebody's hair and being like, girl, so tell me what happened with um, Chico and them. Really? So what you gonna do? Same thing if I was a therapist. How you doing, John? So let's get back into what we were talking about last time with your mom. You know what I mean? Do you like anime? I like it when I see it. You know, I'm like, oh, this is cool. But I'm not like sitting at home like, put on an anime. Where did you get your sense of humor from? From my dad. He's funny like in a very wholesome way. He like, girl, you playing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There are so many memes that have been made of you. Do you have a favorite? You know what, I think my favorite is, you know it's your girl, you know, that TikTok. Your first memory, when I was about five years old, I saw Lion King for the first time. And I just remember, running to my mom's room and being like, <laughs> thank you, Mufasa. That, to this day, is too much, to this day. Can you describe yourself as a friend using three words? These are some good questions. First word is busy. I ain't gonna lie, I'm definitely that friend that's busy. Second one I would say is communicative. The third one is fun. I think I'm a fun friend. I always try to make my friends laugh and stuff like that and do fun activities. You know, we go boat cinema, rooftop cinema. Damn, it seems like all I do is go to the cinema. Am I fun? What's your favorite thing about yourself? In life, this is this one's important, is I think I'm pretty resilient. It doesn't mean I don't get hurt. I get hurt and times get hard. Time's gonna be hard and slow. You know, I always know that uh, it, you always can come back. Why do you prefer to go by Kiki instead of Lauren? <laughs> this is a good question because I actually don't prefer <laughs> to go by Kiki instead of Lauren. Kiki was my family name. And only people that called me Kiki were people in my family. And then one day my manager at that time heard my mom call me Kiki because I wasn't listening. So she was like, Kiki, Kiki. And he said, That's, that should be her stage name. So it went from being just something that my family called me to being something that the whole world called me. And more than anything, I would love to go back to Lauren. What's your favorite movie ever? So this is a hard one because I have a lot of favorites. But my favorite, favorite movie ever is probably The Wood by Rick Femua. It has everything, it has comedy, it has coming of age, it has love, it has friendship. So I really love that movie. Have you ever worn a disguise so you won't be noticed? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I've been in my normal gear, and people have come up to me like, hey, I know you in a disguise, but I know you Kiki Palm. And I'm like, that's a damn shame that me in my normal attire seems like a disguise. I feel so insulted because obviously there was an expectation that you had for me, and I did not exceed it. Do you have any allergies? You know what? I feel like every other week I find out I got a new allergy. I'm lactose, I'm gluten intolerant. Uh, it's getting to the point where I can't eat anything but couscous. Let's give life again a chance. That's funny, let's give life a give a chance. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, I'm on this new kick where it's like, you know what, I'm not gonna force anything. When are we getting your next album? Oh yes, it's done, baby, and you 
should be getting it this year. Name one self-care routine that you love. I don't think that's appropriate. Do you have any reoccurring dreams? Describe them. You know what, I haven't had any reoccurring dreams lately, but back in the day I used to have like dreams of like falling. That, that, I think everybody's had that dream where you like you're falling, it's like oh, you know what I mean? You don't know where you're going and you just wake up. Or the dream where like you have teeth falling out and stuff like that. That I've had before, but I haven't had that since I was like a teenager. Now my dreams actually become movies. Some of them I'm trying to write. What is your worst fear? My worst fear is like never, like not continuing to grow. Like the idea of staying stagnant or getting too complacent is like ooky spooky. What do you like most about your work? I think I've always had a lot of energy since like a very young age and my parents, thank goodness they, they were artists and creative people because they helped me find the outlet to be able to engage all that energy into. So I love that in my job that I can be all the different parts of me that sometimes are hard for other people to understand, but when I put them in the facet of my passion, they make sense. Most memorable fan moment. Sometimes my fans try to jump on me. One time my mom had to like, don't do that to her, you scaring her, get up off her. It's funny because sometimes fans, fans don't realize while they know you, you don't know them. So they like approach you like, you know what I mean? Y'all been friends forever and you're just like, who the hell are you? Can you demonstrate your favorite dance moves? Y'all can't handle my favorite dance moves. What? Bam! That's just like a little something light. How do you establish genuine relationships in the industry? <laughs> I don't really know how to do this one. Most of my friends aren't in the industry. I don't mean to say that because people in the industry are bad, but people in the industry are bad, and I'm kidding. Because the industry is so all-encompassing, you really try to find balance by not having maybe so many friendships and relationships that are within the industry. What's the best part of working on HBO's Legendary? That is probably the best job you could ever have because first of all, you get to go and dress up in cool outfits. And then you get to watch all these amazing talented people put on these great performances. I'm getting enjo to enjoy the show the whole time and look fabulous while doing it. It's a lot of fun. Well, that's all, Glamour. I really enjoyed answering all those excessive questions. You guys really got into my business and I hope you enjoy. Until next time.